know. You're at stage three. Um. I just can't, you know. I'm sorry you waited so long, but it's going to be worth it because this episode is like a little over 30 minutes. I'm just kind of nervous. I'm nervous because I don't know, like I just... I think that I'm, it's hard to release something like that because then I, I was like thinking about it. I was like, man, everyone's gonna, oh, here's, here's talking about my appearance. I lost interest in my appearance for two reasons. Number one, I lacked energy because my food made me feel tired and lifeless. And secondly, attempts to boost my appearance made me feel worse because I looked bloated and swollen. My face was puffy, skin was rough, and eyes were dispirited. It literally hurt to face myself in the mirror. When I was forced to go out, I painted over the pain, which made me feel even more unpleasant. Food over relationships. I went to a ballet. Okay, so I wasn't sure to include all three stories. Wow, thanks. I'm glad you think I look good right now, but like, I don't know. I think. Sorry, I need to be tough. <laughs> We agreed to get dessert after the performance. During Here's the deal. I think this is what I feel bad about. So maybe I'm just being crazy, but like before Okay, I'm going to tell you 355 people. Before break, I you know, I was just I got to the leanest I ever got, right? Before winter break. But a lifestyle is, you know, I wasn't going to not eat like, like a lifestyle is where it's like you take breaks sometimes. It, I didn't really like the break, to be honest. I was very happy to get back to my lifestyle, but I didn't eat sugar at all. Right. And then I had some sugar over break for in the first time in forever. And I didn't even have a good reaction to it. I didn't feel good afterwards. But the point is, I felt like my face was extremely lean. And then after break is when I filmed me sitting on that couch talking and telling the story. And I feel self-conscious about my face for some reason because I was like, great. Like, you know, you're obviously, your, your face isn't going to look as lean and sharp if you went from not eating sugar and then you had some over break. Well, so anyway, so I just started to feel like my face just didn't look lean in the video. And I know it's all about in here. Like that's, I know it. But I also know that there are judgmental creatures in the world and that people, ca I, like people, people care, you know? And so I feel so bad, like, I'm like, damn it, like my face doesn't look as lean. Are people gonna think I look like the same or something? Like, I feel this like extreme pressure to look really drastically different, which I do. I will, I'll show you right now. I'm just gonna spoil one body transformation for you all, sorry. But here, this was, okay. Clearly really different. I mean, I worked really hard to get here. And then, hold on. Okay, here. One, two. You can see my face. Oh, my! this was my face a little bit before break. For some reason, I, I'm sorry to like let you, put this on you guys, but like I feel like self-conscious about my face right now. I'm just being honest and real. <laughs> 
the reason I feel self-conscious is because I am showing you my traumatic past. And so I feel this pressure to look extra good. And I'm like, I don't look extra good because like I, lo- I've, I had some sugar over winter break. But like I can't, I wasn't like, I don't want to feel like I can't do something for, does that make sense? And I was like, man, people are going to think I like look. I don't think I look like what I look like before. Even though like, okay, like I don't, I'm actually, I don't actually look that different. Like at least physically my body, right? But like my face, I just feel like looks bigger. And so I'm like, damn it. Like, I'm not going to look good in this first episode. I'm like, my face isn't going to look good. Like, it's not going to look drastic enough. Like, I feel like I just look, people are going to be